Hi guys, it's Ms. Shopslot and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, and if you are not, welcome back. So I have a haul, of course, with lots of sandals because somebody said that summer was coming. I don't know. I'm not quite sure I believe them, but um, my fingers are still crossed. And I have some purses, some random, and some clothes. So I will just jump right in. And the first item I bought, now I am not a jumper girl. I want to be a jumper girl. I've tried jumpers before and it's always a no. <laughs> so when I bought this and it worked out perfect, I was super excited. It is a Gap. Oh, and it's brand new. This now was from Saver. Er, uh, close my door. So I always bring like... All the stuff that you see me buy, 95% of it gets worn. Okay, maybe I'm lying. 80% of it gets worn. Um, some things are just like, oh my god, I have to have that. And then I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not going to wear it. Or yeah, no, this isn't for me. So those things go in a basket. One of two baskets. There's the consignment basket. There are maybe three. There's the consignment basket. There's the resale basket. And then there's the clothes mentor basket. And even with the stuff I wear, so I am kind of bougie and I don't like to wear, now I, I will, but I don't like to wear the same top at least more than a few times. Sometimes it's only once and it goes in one of the baskets. Sometimes I'll wear it a few times and then it goes in the basket. Um, but with the way I do it, it's affordable because I will buy a shirt for three dollars wear it maybe not wear it put it in one of the baskets and depending on which basket it goes in I either get my three dollars back or I make some money off of it so yes there is the rare occasions that stuff doesn't go to any of them but then I have a garage sale and sell it so either way I'm not out and anything that's left over I donate and I donate to good causes because it makes me feel better and it's still not a loss in my eyes because instead of donating money, I'm donating things that they can make money off of. And I have a couple places now that I do donate my clothes and that to that I feel more comfortable for me donating to. Where the money goes to the homeless or the money goes to money or clothes goes to battered women and children. So that's just my personal thing and to each their own. So back to my romper. <laughs> it is this black romper, like kind of like linen-y with the tie shorts. And it actually works. And I'm so super excited because in my head, I am a one-piece pantsuit diva. But in my mirror, <laughs> I'm so not. So being able to find one that fits, like, ah. <sighs> Extremely happy. So next, I feel like this is a staple piece for a wardrobe. It is a striped... I paid... I don't know if this was on sale or not, but if it wasn't, I paid $5 for it. Um, it is a striped chambray shirt, and I just feel like this blue and white shirt is such a staple piece. You can wear this with jeans, you can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with capris, like a white capri and a white tank top underneath it with, where did I see it? Like this blue coach bag and some red shoes. Little gold necklace or gold earrings or even a pair of white sandals and a red purse but I just I feel like it is definitely a statement piece I would leave it open just the way it is with a tank top maybe with some white capris or a pair of white shorts or whatever like it's just a versatile piece um next now again if you are part of my Facebook group I have been finding a ton of of Lane Bryant, Torrid especially, and uh, Maurice's clothes. And a lot of this stuff has tags. And this, these two dresses I bought, now it's kind of hard to show 
floor length, so bear with me. Um, these are maxi dresses from Torrid. This is like a blue color, and it's just it's just a maxi dress. I love that banded. And this is the back, and this was six dollars because all my dresses are the same price and it is brand new with tags 75 dollars so once i always so i said in the last video one of my last videos that i want to take you into the thrift store and show you how i thrift everybody is different everybody's go-to's are different um but like me i go here first, there first, then to the new racks, then to the this, the that. So this, I have a map of how I hit things in each thrift store. And again, it, it's different for everybody and what your needs are. So then at the same, same store, same rack. Because once I find one good thing, then I will dig. So these were new racks that had just come out. So once I see one good thing, I'll keep digging to see if a lot of times um, people will donate they put things that people donate together, like they're going through a bag and that's how they put. So you'll find similar sizes and from whatever they, else they donated. And I bought, I bought two other shirts from Tora, but I didn't, I didn't feel they were worthy of making a video. So this is the dress and it is a maxi dress and it has the see-through like lace stuff is so pretty and this again brand new at tags for 75 bucks and I paid six dollars for it. I love maxi dresses I feel like they went out of style for a minute but I'm glad that they're coming back because I love maxi dresses my outfit my favorite outfit in the summer is a maxi dress a jean jacket or a jean shirt and a pair of flip flops out the door love it Super favorite outfit. And next I bought this. This was half off. So this was, it was 640, so it was 320. It is a free people white. This is not for me. Size medium, unfortunately. Oh, four. Sorry. Like jean jacket corduroy, but it's super lightweight. It's not like, um, it feels like a jean jacket. It's not like heavy or anything. Free people jacket and I seen the same jacket. It was like $180. Might even been more, but so that was three dollars. Uh next these don't have hangers, so I'm sorry. I will be listing a couple of these things because they just didn't work out for me. Uh these are Raz and Ali. They're from Dress Barn. And they're these white polka dot eyes. And these are another thing I love. These kind of wide leg pants with a white tank top and some flip flops and you're out the door. So these are a little too big. These are 2X. So I'm going to be selling these. I don't have a tag on them. So I don't know if they were. They were probably $6. Uh, these I was so disappointed. They're just too big. They are by Mint, 1792. They are gorgeous. Okay, let me. So these are a black and white floral. All right, I can't see you guys, so hopefully you guys are seeing these floral pants, like you know, for like uh, summer, and they are wide leg, and they are just gorgeous, like with a white tank top and some flip flops. These are amazing, but they are too big, so I will be selling these if anyone's interested. They are an 18. I would say they are a true 18, um, maybe even slightly bigger, and if you're tall, that's a good thing because those are really long. Uh, the next thing I bought was from Stitch Fix, and it was $2.50, and it is 41 Hawthorne. I will be selling this as I try it on. It's not my... It's not my style. It is super cute, but it's just not, not my style. That and this Valentino 
ruffled tank top. It is authentic, and this was two dollars. And last but not least, oh no, I have one more thing, two more things. Okay, so this, <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um, it is Forever 21, brand new with tags. I paid $4 for it. Um, it's a 3X, and <laughs> it is super cute. So it is this low cut, Peplum skirt shorts. It is super cute. But unfortunately for me, this is a hell no. Because I have a big booty and chubby thighs and it's they're, they're just a hell no. But if you like that kind of thing and you can pull that stuff off, more power to you and I'm very jealous. It'll be for sale. Then I bought these. These were $4. They're Izod. Eyelet white shorts. I'm super excited about these. These are so, so, so cute with, you know, a nice dressy shirt and some nicer flip-flops or, or um, shoes to go out for dinner in the summer. Perfect. And last but not least for clothes, this means nothing to anyone who is not a reseller. Um, Jams World. I don't know if you guys remember this. Let me pull you guys up again. It is a Jams World dress. I have, it's been on my bolo, my be on the lookout for forever. Like I always see people on these thrifting groups and they find these jam shorts and that and uh, Jams World. And I've yet to find anything until the other day and it was $3. And it is... It is. It is. <laughs> that is all I got to say about this dress. It is. So I don't remember. I think it's vintage, I believe. And it is loud. I want to say it's like a surf company, but I'm not positive, so I don't know. But that was $3. They have a great resale. People love them. Now, into the goodies. I'm sorry, guys, if my lighting is off. I don't understand why it is, but it feels dark to me. Okay, so this, now I buy, I pick up bras and bralettes and stuff like that for my daughter. I know people are, like, skeeved out about bras, but I don't understand why. I mean, it's not like, you know, panties, nasty. Not buying panties. Now, with that being said... If you go to Victoria's Secret and you are buying panties and you put those on without washing them, it is just as bad as going to the thrift store and buying a pair of used panties because women return panties. Victoria's Secret takes returns. So if I come home and I put on a pair of panties and they don't feel right, you can return them. I don't do that. You know what I do? I put them in my drawer and they sit there and they, <laughs> they sit there and they sit there and until they get thrown away or donated. Um, but... With that being said, wash your panties before you wear them from any store because women try them on. Now, as far as a bra, to each their own. But a bra is not, unless you're a milk lactating mom, a bra is not dirty. It's no dirtier than a tank top. In my eyes. And that's my opinion. And if you don't like it, that's fine. And you don't have to wear it. Um... I have bought tons of bras and resold them and people are extremely happy and everybody's like, oh my god, if you you resold a bra from a thrift store. It's not like 17 people wore that bra. I resell my, or I donate my bras. It's just me wearing them. I wear them. I don't wear them anymore. I donate them. You know, it's not like there's 37 women wearing the same bra. So if you're not getting those, you're overlooking something. I actually just bought 11 Cacique bras for myself, all new with tags. Now that is just unheard of. <clears throat> for three dollars and fifty cents each. Each I pay forty and up for my bras. So to be able to get them for three fifty, and I've bought bras that were lightly used too because they're expensive. And a lot of times, again, I will buy a bra, I don't return it. I toss it in the my drawer, and that's it. So. 
it is what it is. People can do it or not do it. It really doesn't make me any difference, but I do it. And without further ado, because that was a long drawn out thing, I bought this for my daughter. <laughs> It's a Victoria's Secret bralette. I bought her a ton of them um, in another video I showed. It was $3.50. While I was on that tangent, I had a point that I wanted. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so those of you who do donate, a lot of places um, on the bra and underwear situation, a lot of places like um, homeless shelters and... Uh, like battered women's shelters and stuff like that. One of the main things they're always asking for is underwear. Underwear and socks. It doesn't matter that they're used. I mean, obviously nobody wants your stained holy underwear. But if you're if they're in good condition, they're always looking for those because they don't get them donated a lot and these people need them. So if you do donate, please... Take the extra time if you have lightly, you know, gently used, not stained or hold or nasty. If you have gently used underwear or socks or bras or whatever, donate them to look, you know, Google or, yeah, Google because I don't even have a phone book. Google homeless shelters and stuff in your area. And if you can, just make that extra trip to donate to them because they really, really need that kind of stuff. And I try to advocate for that because... People don't think about that stuff and, you know, there's not, pe or if you want to buy some brand new ones and donate them, do that too. But that is the number one thing that they need right now is underwear, believe it or not. <clears throat> okay, off tangent, back on the haul. So next I bought this. My husband bought me one for Christmas and I love it. I am always, if I don't have one on now, it's a shock because it's in my hair. I always have a scrunchie on my wrist. Always have a hair tie on my wrist. So this is a hair tie bracelet. And you put your hair tie in there so it doesn't look so cheesy. My husband bought me one. I loved it. So I saw this and I picked this one up for my daughter. But that looks so much better than just this. I mean, seriously, how many pictures I have of me and my girlfriends. And one or three of us have freaking hair ties on our wrists. Uh, next was this black vintage leather, I don't know why it makes it look like a cone head, Danier leather hat in Canada. It was 79 cents. So I picked that up. I'm going to reshape it. And the one consignment store, I take stuff to a couple different consignment stores and one of them has like they're really eclectic and and they have cool stuff like that so I'll bring that to them they'll love that and next I bought this I wanted one of these so bad from Bath and Body Works and I would not pay what are they at $15.50 I was $2.39 so I bought this to put my candles in I love the sparkles <laughs> uh this I bought it is I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I have to look it up first. It was $2.98 and it is a tan towel. Look good naked. A tan towel ain't going to do that. But, uh, oh, no, it's garbage. Expires 2010. See, and that's another thing. I normally always, always check with this. That day I just didn't check and it expired 2010. And because it's tanning, I won't use it. So, that was a loss. But that's fine. I'm not going to cry. Okay, next was this bag. I pre-ripped it because I know how loud it tends to be. It was a bag from Savers. It was $3.99, and this is what was in it. An EOS hand lotion. Berry Blossom. Going right in my purse. This vintage, what year is this from? God, I want to say it was like, I feel like this is the, the watch that if you sold enough, uh, we didn't sell candy bars in school. We, used, we had like a whole catalog when I was in school. And this was the watch you won if you got enough. <laughs> what was it that we used to sell in school? I can't remember. Um, it was ridiculous stuff. Ridiculous stuff. 
And like you could win watches and whatnots and yeah. Uh, this was a pair of tweezers and the tweezers fell out. This is a Wen Summer Honey Peach Perfume. This stuff smells really good. I did smell it before. Cause I can't wait. Yeah. It's just a teeny tiny little bottle. But it smells amazing. And as you know, the hair stuff sells really well. I know people say it's not good. Some people say it is. I have too much hair to even try it, so I'm not even going to bother. Uh, this Kleenex on the go, Fresh and Go Wipe It's. And two EOS lip balms. So those three are going in my purse. The wine will go on my counter, and the watch will go somewhere. <laughs> Not sure where, but it'll go somewhere. Next is this Coach wallet. It was 99 cents. It has a little wear right there, but otherwise it's in really good condition. This is the back. Oh, wait, it does got a little wear right there, too. But with a black Sharpie or black leather paint, it won't look as bad. This. Now, one way to tell if a wallet, whatever, is real or fake is there's one of two things. There's either a little black or I think it's green, not green, but brown black or brown tag inside that says made in china made in vietnam i can't think of the other ones but or it will have oh i just ripped it out <laughs> a little clear rubber tag which i just ripped out so it's not going to have it's not always going to have what you think it would in it and then of course the obvious other ones are the rings Never break in the YKK zippers. So that was a dollar. I bought this case for my sister-in-law. She has been dying for me to find Costa, Costas, Costa del Costa El Costa. I don't know. Sunglasses. I have yet to find any, but I did find her a case. She has a pair ready, so I will be bringing her that when we go to Florida, along with some other goodies that I'm excited about. All right. Oh, we got one more thing before we get into shoes. So this is a terrible thing. I know. So I need to get one of those things that goes on the side of your, what is it, the side of your cabinet where you can put your straightener and your curling irons and stuff in. I've had to replace my straightener three times already because it, you know, from doing this, your cord gets all curly cued and it pulls out of the wall or it falls off the bathroom sink and breaks. And I broke three already. Good thing I get good deals on these because the ones that I've had have been pretty freaking expensive. So this is a, and believe it or not, like I've showed before that I've bought some and I keep them for backup and that's exactly why. But anyway, this is a Babyless Pro Ceramic Extreme. It was $3. I did just buy another Babyless one, and it was thin like this. So I have a thick one and a thin one. I like this one for curling my hair. I like the thicker ones for just a quick, you know, for straightening. Um, and the one that I bought, I didn't realize until I got home. It had a freaking UK plug on the end. So I had to buy a adapter from eBay before I could use it. Yeah, that's a thing. And it never even occurred to me to look. Okay, flip-flops. These were half off, and I don't see the... Oh, these were $6 with half off. They're 3 bucks. They're brand new. They're dockers. They're cute. This little... Now, see this... <clears throat> This is something that would probably end up at Clothes Mentor or something after a use or two. This isn't something I would wear continuously. This is something I would want. I would wear once or twice because it's cute with something pink or whatever. And then they would get donated. But these were brand new. Because they are cute and I do want them. But I'm not going to 
They're not going to live here forever. They're just renting. Next is Coco and Carmen flip flops. These were three dollars with half off. I paid a dollar fifty for them. I still think they're cute though. They got some sparkle. So those were a dollar fifty. I used to buy these to sell until I finally once was like, you know what? I'm gonna try these because I mean they usually sell fairly quick. And they are um nail. Nail. These are brand new. Um I paid seven dollars, which is a thousand times worth it. <laughs> these shoes I bought every time I buy find them in my size now they I, I'm just ecstatic they're pretty too these are amazing shoes let me give you the name again N-A-O-T N-A-O-T these are so comfortable so I have back problems neck problems I got problems and walking a lot lot the only thing I could use before that didn't give me issues when I'm talking like walking for hours, you know, like I would walk around Disney with these or garage sale all day long in those. These, no, these are going to the beach, going somewhere where I'm only going to be out for a couple hours, not shopping, not walking. But those nails, not whatever, nail are amazing. I guess they're like Birkenstocks. I've, I've tried Birkenstocks and I just... I think I, they're not for me. I, I just don't like them. Uh, but I guess that's how those would be. And they're just, they're great. So if you ever find those thrifting, grab them. And even if you don't, they're not your size, sell them because they sell pretty well. Okay. And then other than those that are super, super comfortable, are Crocs. So comfy. I love my Crocs. Uh, these were five dollars with half off. They were two fifty. They're brand new. These are so cute. These aren't the cutest. I like these aren't the cutest. They are cute. I have cuter ones that I have found. But let me tell you, again, walking in these, amazing. My back doesn't hurt. My feet don't hurt. My heels don't hurt. It's just they're awesome. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, so these next shoes I bought with that bag that's behind this one over there. So these were, she charged me, let's say, five bucks. And they are Prada flats. Perfect spring color. These were from, these were off of a website. And I've bought tons of stuff from her. She's amazing. So these were $5. <clears throat> Next, I bought... Oops. I bought these for myself. These are Dolce Vita. These are so cute on. I don't have... I don't know what it is, but thrifting-wise, I cannot find a plain, all-black pair of sandals that don't hurt. Like, I found them, and I bought them, and they hurt. These are super cute. They don't hurt. But I just want a... I love these. But, I mean, I don't have, like, a... I don't have, like, a just a plain black, no cork wedge, just black pair of heels. Pair of shoes. These are $5. I don't remember if these were half off or not. Uh, next, I bought these to sell. These were half off, and these were hidden, so I'm thinking somebody wanted these. They are Brighton. They were $5.39, half off. They were $2.70. They're Brighton. They're size 9.5. Okay, shoes are done. This... I picked up the same time I picked up the Hello Kitty because I just thought it was super cute. It's a nice bright orange Samsonite vintage travel bag. Like, I just think it's super, super cute. Like, somebody who's traveling and wants to throw their makeup and whatnot. It is the Samsonite Sherbrooke. And it was $7. 
with half off. So it was three fifty. I mean, I just thought it was really cute. Again, I made tickets to the consignment store because it's in really good condition. This video is super long. Uh, the next item was this tote. And again, super cute. It is... What's it called? Espa bag. Because... Let me back up. It's got the brown handle. Let's get this on the side. The bottom looks like an espadrill. <laughs> And it is Saldarini, Como Italy, Italy. Oh gosh, I can't talk. <laughs> is it really, really good condition? This is the inside. And this was $5. And, hey, we got three left. Next was this amazing owl sack roots tote i think this thing is so freaking cute it is like brand new <clears throat> there is nowhere on this bag this is the back with a zipper it was five dollars this is the inside it's got some sparkles but otherwise it's in excellent condition i love love that bag uh, oh, no, I didn't get this from the same lady. Next was, this was on one of those websites, Craigslist, whatever. And they wanted 30 which was really a good, it was still a good deal. And then I got there, and it was tinier than I thought, because I bought the exact same bag, which will be in another haul. And when I seen how small it was, I offered her 25 and she said, yes, it's brand new. It is coach. I can't remember the name. I think it might be inside though. It's got the long crossbody strap, the super cute pink. I love this pink. It has, it's really a good size. I thought it was a, the big one. That's that. Um, so now the tag is no longer, or the creed is no longer on the patch. It is now inside in a little tag. And I don't know if it has the actual tags in it, but that's this. And this, again, what, I can't remember the name of it. But it was $25. It's cute. It's really cute. I love the color. I do like the new coach. I do. I will never wear another coach bag that has the C's all over it because it's just not me. I like the leather and that's a really nice bag. And then last but not least is this tore up Tory Burch. And the only reason I bought it is because I want to redo it. My husband bought me the Deglazer. Who is it? Um, I can't think of the name of it. It's Angel something the glazer and the paint so I'm going to paint I'm going to attempt to paint this bag I believe it was it was two bucks because it was just it's 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 shite there's nastiness all over it. there's pen there's all kinds of stuff. So I am going to clean it first, which it doesn't matter. It's this stuff is that stain. And then I'm going to paint it black and I'm going to see how well it goes. I'm going to have to paint in between all this, but it might be relaxing. I don't know. It might drive me crazy. I, I'm not sure, but I'm going to try and see what happens. It is Tory. Now, Tory Birch used to be hard. Now, I, I kind of get it. It used to be hard to uh, authenticate for me because I didn't understand it. So, Tory Birch will always, not always, but Tory Birch will have the Tory Birch on the zipper. And again, not always. YKK zip. Is that a T?
YKK zippers. This. But some of the, I mean, they don't really, I think there's a made in China tag. Hold on. So this is a made in China tag, but sometimes it has like just a little funny color yellow in that T. So anyways, that's my tore up Tori and I'm going to paint it black. And if it, if, if I can get, if it looks nice, then I'm going to keep it. If not, I'm going to throw it out. But for $2, I want to try my hand at painting. I did do a couple that I painted with uh, shoe polish, <laughs> which came out good, but I definitely want to try the actual leather paint and see how that goes. So if you are still here with me, I love you guys. I appreciate you all. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.